There are many videos on YouTube that explain kinetic energy, but this video is different in the sense that it explains kinetic energy as part of a universal geometrical process of energy exchange. This is a three dimensional process that can give us a geometrical reason why kinetic energy is equal to half the product of the mass and the square of the speed or the velocity. At the most fundamental level, this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. In the equation for kinetic energy, we have half the mass that in this theory is formed geometrically, representing half the diameter of a sphere. Kinetic energy is energy in motion, and at any moment in time, we have two times half the mass with the velocity squared to get the surface area of the sphere. The surface area of the sphere represents the movement of charge, with the concaved inner surface representing negative charge, and the outer convex surface representing positive charge. This might sound like a totally mad idea, but whenever objects touch, it is charge that makes contact. And whenever the atoms bond together or break apart, there is an exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. This dynamic geometry can even be seen in these images from the International Space Station of a candle flame in zero gravity, naturally forming a sphere that is interacting with the environment relative to the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. This is a totally universal process, with photon energy forming the build-up and organization of charge across the membrane of each living cell. The spontaneous emission of light forms our everyday light source, and these photons are emitted at random. But within the reference frame that is represented by the equation, the energy exchange is not random. It is relative to the stable force that formed the kinetic energy. This forms what is called stimulated emission, where an incoming photon of a specific frequency can interact with the probability cloud of an atom, emitting a new photon with a phase, frequency, polarization and direction of travel that are all identical to the photon that was absorbed. It is because the future is unfolding with the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy forming a repetition of the same energy levels that we have to times half the mass with the velocity in the equation for kinetic energy. The multiplication of whole numbers can be explained as a repeated addition. That is, the multiplying of two numbers is equivalent to adding as many copies of one of them. For example, 3 times 9 equals 27. And if you add three nines together, it also equals 27. Another example is 4 times 5 equals 20. If you add four fives together, it also equals 20. 6 times 6 equals 36 is the same as adding six sixes together. In this theory, the reason why human mathematics is this way is because it is based on the dynamic geometry of this process. Just as the potential for kinetic energy is relative to the force that formed the motion, and that force can be formed by us, by the energy and momentum of our actions. It is the same with our mathematical system. The potential for ever more abstract mathematics and geometry is based on the same force that forms the characteristic of kinetic energy. This process of energy exchange could be thought of as a living force, and this is not a new idea. I have placed a link here to a video that explains this in much greater detail. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.